So welcome back everyone. In this we are going to talk about another very interesting pattern printing which is a upside down triangle. Okay, let me tell you what is upside down triangle. So this is our fourth pattern. Upside down triangle. So this is how it looks. If you imagine it is actually reverse or mirror image. <laughs> if you put a mirror, it is actually a mirror image of the previous code of the previous pattern right but how to understand this so i will go exactly by the same approach for every row figure out how many stars are to be printed okay so this is first row five stars are to be printed second row four stars third row three stars the fourth row two stars and fifth row one star if you think about it if you think about it what if i start my row numbering in reverse order see you can do it in many ways okay but i'm trying to give you a very simple way suppose i take this as my fifth row okay or in reverse one row second row third row fourth row fifth row can we do that absolutely yes okay all we have to do is write a loop in reverse order so basically for i in range n to one but i have to include one so i'll have to go till zero and each time do minus one each time do minus one okay so basically here i'll say n equals to five that's it and how many stars i have to print i have to print i stars okay so first i'll do by nested loop as always or j in range i okay depending on which loop i am in print a star separated by nothing okay end with nothing so that the next star can come beside it and once this entire loop j loop is ended i just go to the new line to print the next row that's it this is how i can get a inverted right angle triangle or upside down triangle but as i told you it's once you have understood this code it becomes very easy for you to understand the shortcut which is simply write n equals to 5 and you write for i in range in n comma zero comma minus one but this time i have to print i stars in a row how can i print i stars simply a star okay, simply a star replicated i times that's it and it will automatically move to the next row due to the default end okay by the way this is not specific to five okay if you take eight let's see if you take eight okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then seven, then six, then five. Okay. So if you take 10, it will work for any given n. That's the beauty of this code. Okay. So now if you see many people uh, acting cool by drawing such things on the notebook, okay, on the machine, this is how they actually do it. So I hope that you are enjoying it. Thank you.